Here we go, boys and girls. We finally got in position here where we can uh, be right still here and uh, keep the camera steady. All kind of policias around here. Madison policia look like. Madison policias. Hmm. Well, what's up with that white pickup over there with the camper top? I don't know who that kid is. But they, uh, they definitely something going on. The cops have raided that house, I think. Still looking like it. They might have some contraband. Never can tell. I think this street gets right much traffic at, at times. I think they've kind of been on the radar maybe for a while now. Not sure. That's all alleged. I don't know for sure. We'll find out in a few moments. If they break out their bracelets, we'll know what's going on. Mailman on the scene as usual. Somehow or another, I just happen to run up on things like this. I'm lucky at finding bad luck. Hope you guys out in YouTube world enjoy my videos, bringing you all the news that is the news. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'd be glad to have you. We tell it like it is if we know the truth. If we don't, we don't say nothing about it. So we're just going to sit here and wait. They're going to uh, go ahead and do what they're doing in there. Nobody's leaving, I know that, yet. I don't think they're allowed to leave just yet. I'm parked in a driveway here, but I know the old boy owns the property, so he's not going to run me off. No one else can either. But I'm not in the street. I think it's about 5.30, 5.40, something like that. If they got any contraband in that house, I uh, imagine that guy with the dog will find it. I think maybe that dog is a uh, Malamoids, I think is what they call them, the ones that uh, operate on the Dutch language. Yeah, you have to know Dutch to derail that doggy. <laughs> That's the kind of commands they work off of, Dutch language. I don't know any, so... I wouldn't know what they were telling them if they did. Well, this is what it looks like, guys and girls. Right here on Bowl Street. Corner of Bowl Street and Long Street. I happen to know one of the individuals that live there. A 
I think it, uh, my wife, ex-wife's half-sister lives there. Not sure, but I think that's right. We have some movement in the doorway. There's the girl coming out of there now. Putting her coat on, so. She must be getting ready to leave. She's going out there and sit on the bench with that other guy, whoever that is. While them guys inside do their thing. Sure hope nobody gets dog bit. Mail man knows how that is. I had a pit bull bite me about two weeks ago. It wasn't too fun. <laughs> but I lived through it. It didn't even make me cry. Had a hole in my left thumb there by my thumb, about a, I don't know, an inch deep, about as big around as a 45 bullet. Blood running out of it. Didn't really bother me much. I think I waited an hour and a half before I went to the hospital to get it sewed up. I went down to the police department and had a report filed out, filled out rather, <laughs> filed out. Yeah, I had to go down there and fill out a police report about the dog biting me before I went. I didn't have to, but I went ahead and done it anyway, so get it out of the way before I went to the hospital because you know how long it takes to get in and out of the emergency room these days. Quite a while sometimes. So... Continue to wait here and see what happens. I think I'm gonna have me a Rice Krispie uh, cookies and cream treat while I'm waiting. They sure are good. You guys ought to get you one of them out there in the world. They're awful yummy. Kellogg's makes them. They'll whoop a craving upon you. I know that. I like them. I'm about a thousand feet down the street here. I got to zoom all the way out on this thing and uh, show you what it looks like the best I can do. Don't really want to show their faces anyway, but don't want to shame anyone. They could be innocent. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, boy, is that good. Yum, yum. Like there's at least three or four suspects on the front porch there. I see some movement through the door there. I think it might be a sheriff or somebody in there with a flashlight. I don't know.
Daggone, they make these Rice Krispie cooking cream. I think that's what they're called. They make these things too good. Yeah, cookies and cream. Yum, yum. I bet you can't eat just one. <laughs> I need to lay off of them. I'm getting fat. As long as I don't get so fat, I can't see my eyes, I'll be right. Looks like the man is doing a pretty thorough search on this unit. I can come out yet. I've been here a few minutes. I think these folks got some neighbors that don't like them too pretty good. Mm. I got one cop outside there. He's kind of nervous. He keeps moving around there. <laughs> I don't blame him. I'd be nervous too and very aware. Never know what might happen. Well, all righty then. I think I'll stop this part two here. Let's see. Wait a minute. No, we have movement. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's a cop coming out with a brown bag in his hand. That's not good. That's what they usually come out with evidence in, I think. At least that's what they did at the OJ murder investigation in California that time. Yeah. Evidence bag. They use those brown paper bags. So that's not too good. Yeah, they're coming out of there now. We're gonna we're gonna see a break in the action here shortly. We're gonna find out what's going on here. Let's see if I can get a little more adjustment on my camera. There you go, guys. I should have thought of that. Well, should have thought of that sooner. Now we got it. A whole lot better be. <clears throat> yeah, they're talking it over. Trying to figure out what they're going to do next, I guess. 
I know what I'm doing next. I shouldn't, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to eat another one of these favorite Rice Krispie treats. Oh, mercy. Too good. I need to keep me a box of these in here on the dash. And that way I can catch some little fat girls with them if I see any. Them little fat girls love these things. They got to because I do. Well, so I'm a little fat boy. Or a little fat man. Yum, yum, yum. Yep. That guy in that brown outfit, he's going to come out with the evidence bag. He's calling somebody in headquarters. He's going to let us know what's cooking. I believe that's my buddy Tweaker Seeker out there getting in that car going to do something. Mm-hmm. I got him a cold drink. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. One, two, three, four police up there. Three or four suspects. They want to chat about something. Here comes another cop out there. I know that guy there. I see him in Texas a lot. The one with the brown khaki on. Coming down the driveway. <clears throat> I know he's the man because I've seen him packing up there at Texas. He had his Marty Ack on his side. Hmm. He might be the one that's... Let's see. He could be the dog man. I don't know. I don't know which one it is yet. I don't know that many of the uh, mouse officers by name. Know a few of them, Mr. Pulliam, Mr. Handy, the Chief, Jason White. They got one smoking hot Mexican gal works over. I know that she is fine as frog hair. Mm 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 mm. I'm telling you. I was 20 years younger, I'd be chasing her. <laughs> Can't run as fast as I used to now. Oh, well. If they did find contraband, they're going to ask them whose it is, and if no one claims it, then they'll charge them all with it, I suppose. I think that's how it works.
Hmm. I don't know what they're waiting on. He may have called the magistrate to see how to proceed from here. May be waiting on a phone call to make a move. All us guys is going to learn how this operates here, won't we, by watching my channel. See how it works. I got to do something soon because uh, shift changes at 6 p.m. Can't be far from that now. This part two is going to run a little long here, 23 minutes. I don't have any editing software at the moment. I deleted the good one I had because I had to reload my computer a while back because of it. It was malfunctioning when I tried to upload YouTube videos. It wouldn't do it, so I had to reload it, and I lost my program. And I'll be doggone if I can remember the name of it, but I'll find it. I just haven't done it yet, and that way I can cut these videos down a little bit if they're too long. Figure out what's uh, what's going on, and what's not here. Hmm. I'm waiting on the doggy to come out. I want to see what that dog looks like. We have movement at the door now. Let's see. Guy coming out with gloves on. Mm -hmm. That doggy may be in right here in a minute. First time Mayo man's been to a drug bust, if that's what's going on. Must be something serious. All them police guys. And if they got the dog here, that's a bad sign for sure. Yeah, that guy coming down the hill there, he got his gloves on. Hmm. 
They usually have to wear gloves when they're on a crime scene there, that's for sure. Don't want to contaminate anything. This video is running into almost 30 minutes now. Takes about an hour and a half to upload it on YouTube, even with fast internet. They'll get it completed here shortly. See a flashlight flashing around in the uh, side of the apartment there. There goes a daggone black cat across the yard. Woo-wee! Not good. Somebody's coming out of there. I had a came to the door and he stopped. We're losing daylight, folks. We'll stay till we run out of light. Then we'll have to stop. I'll find out in a few days what happened, where to get out. I'll leave it in the comments on the bottom of the video if you guys want to check back and see what happened. I know almost everyone in this little one horse town, so, you know, word travels pretty quickly. These folks may be getting evicted here shortly. Who knows? Landlord finds out. Cops over here quite a bit. They'll uh, probably have to make a move somewhere else. 
At least the winter time is about over. It won't be too cold. I shot a Twinkle video about eight months ago. I got over 14,000 views on it. This one right here might do more than that one. Don't know. I don't make any money either way, so, you know, I don't really care. I just enjoy doing it. Definitely taking the time and looking all around because I see a flashlight moving around. Uh oh, here comes another bag out of there. Not good. That's two bags. Uh oh. Not good. Got a feeling that a little old lady out there is getting ready to go to jail. She walked on down towards the police car and standing there waiting. So, that don't look good. This camera picture looks brighter on the camera than it does out there looking through out through the windshield there. That's a good thing. It must have light gathering technology or something. Light enhancing technology. Yeah, they're about to slow it down a little bit going up through there.
Let's see here. I think we're going to have some movement now. I think you're getting ready to break camp here. Yeah, they taken the woman that lives there to jail, I do believe. See, they're walking toward the police car there. Uh -huh. Yep, I believe so. Let's get the camera over and see it. Yep. Nice officer, yep, showing away with the flashlight so it won't all walk in the mud or something. Yeah, she's going to the pokey, sure as the world is. It's pokey time. No? Yeah. She's gonna, they're going to let her ride in the front, I think, because I think she's disabled. Yeah. Yep, she's going to jail. I think she's the only one that's going. Yep. I think you're fixing the brake camp. Yep, all the rest of those guys done went back in the house, shut the door. That's what's up. Yeah, she's going downtown. Or Wentworth, rather. Okay, we're going to stop this one right here. It's Mayo, man. Catch you on the next one. I'm out.